Hi guys, it's Hannah or Lambency and welcome back to another doll customization video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made Amity from the Owl House. I'm currently really obsessed with the Owl House right now. It's taken over all of my thoughts in my life. It's my favorite show so I was really excited to do Amity and I'd like to do some other characters as well. I don't know which ones yet so comment down below which character I should do, or characters from any series, just comment below and I'll take a look and I'll think about it. Anyway, thank you guys for your support, and let's get started. The first thing I did was make Amity's Hexide School uniform. For her purple leggings and sleeves, I used a catsuit pattern from DG Requiem on Etsy. I cut it out of this stretchy purple fabric. I folded the catsuit right sides together and sewed up the back, leaving an opening at the top. Then I folded and pinned everything together. I also hemmed the sleeves using fabric glue, which I forgot to show. So all along here, and that's it! I just stitched the back opening up, but you can also use Velcro or something like that. Now for her dress! I used a pattern for a sheath dress, which as usual would be linked in the description. I cut out a triangle at the bottom of the dress. I realized after I was already done that she actually has two cutouts. Oops! Anyway, I hemmed the sleeves and neck with fabric glue and then folded, pinned, and sewed it all together. I hemmed the bottom of the dress with fabric glue. Not sure if this is supposed to be a belt or part of the dress, but I wrapped a black ribbon around her waist to achieve that. You'll notice I also added velcro to the back of the dress. I glued the belt down and that's it! Now for her hooded cape. This consists of three pattern pieces, the cape, the hood, and the hood trim. This part is really hard to explain. I basically sewed darts so that the cape rests better on her shoulders. Then I hemmed the sides and bottom of the cape. For the hood, I pinned and sewed together two hood pieces and then sewed on the hood trim. Once the hood was done, I sewed it to the cape. Then I sewed on a snap so that I can close the cape. For the button, I cut a circle out of yellow felt and glued it on. And that's it! Amity's school uniform is complete! Next, I altered the ears of an apple white doll using epoxy sculpt. I shaped it until there was a nice point at the top. Once the clay hardened, I sanded it and painted it. Now for the repaint. I removed the doll's factory paint using 100% acetone nail polish remover. When the face was completely bare, I sprayed the face with Mr. Super Clear to prep it for the watercolor pencils. Once Mr. Super Clear dried, I started drawing. I used Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. I began with a light beigey color for the initial sketch of the face. Once I got the sketch on, I sprayed it with Mr. Super Clear and went over it with a gray color. I also colored in her irises. It's important to spray Mr. Super Clear or some other sealant between each layer so that you can make the colors more vibrant. Anyway, I chose this facial expression for Amity because she just looks so cute when she's all nervous and blushing around loose. Who else died when Wing It Like Witches aired because I know I did. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so in the beginning, I chose this dark lip color for Amity, and I actually went through with it even past the gloss varnish stage, but I kept feeling like something was wrong. And then I realized she looked like Ida. So yeah, <laughs> they have the same eye color, so adding that dark lip color just made it way too similar. So please ignore her lip color because I will change it in the end. I used Faber-Castell Soft Pastels to add the blush to her cheeks. Then I added dots of white acrylic paint to the eyes and added gloss varnish to make it shiny. But wait, those lips! Okay, this is when I went back and carefully wiped off the lips with acetone, sprayed Mr. Super Clear, yada yada yada, and I made the pink. Now for Amity's earrings. I cut out triangles from black craft foam and just hot glued them onto her ears. Finally, her hair! I'm using green and turquoise 100% acrylic yarn. I cut the yarn to the length I wanted and then tied them onto a metal hoop to make it easier to brush out. I use a pet slicker brush to brush out the yarn strands starting from the bottom and making my way up. I brush until it is completely smooth and without tangles. Once everything was brushed out, I straightened it with a flat iron. Then I cut the hair from the hoop and set it aside. To make the hair wefts, I put down a piece of plastic wrap and glued down the hair with tacky glue. I used a palette knife to really press it down and make sure the top is completely coated with the glue. I waited for the glue to dry and then peeled the hair wefts off of the plastic wrap. I cut the excess glue off the top. I used tacky glue again to glue the hair wefts onto the head. I used a brown marker to color in Amity's roots. Now for hair cutting and styling. I tied up Amity's little ponytail and then chopped off much of the length. I used a tiny bit of fabric glue to keep some strands in place. Amity is complete! I chose these boots because I loved how the color of the laces matched. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!